Hey guys, if you were saying, um, who is that voice I'm hearing? It's not Shimmy. No, it's not. My name is Tiffany Goff Smith, and I'm the creator and designer at Southern Gals Designs here on YouTube. And I am part of the Pass the Brush movement. So, what is Pass the Brush? So, I was partnered with Shimmy, and the purpose of Pass the Brush is to amplify and really lift up <clears throat> and make women of color artists more visible to the community. So I am here and she is over at my channel so make sure that you check that out as well when you're through but you do get a sneak peek because I am going to be using her artwork within my piece. So if you're not familiar with my work this is really a lot different for me because I typically go in without an idea. Um, I'm super intuitive. However, with this project, it was a lot of pressure because I really wanted to make sure that I really drove a message <clears throat> um, to uh, everyone through this piece. So I hope that I did just that. So here's a sneak peek of Shimmy's um piece that she did and I created an eye and so I envisioned that the eye in the iris would sit the or actually in the people would sit these uh, girls of all shades and colors in such a diverse um, group of ladies that she created and I really love this image Jimmy so um, I realized that the eyeball was too small so I'm going to go really big and create um, an eye that that image will fit into so I'm using an ink pen here and I'm actually using the food box um, because I could not find my tried and true which is the micro uniball <clears throat> so I wasn't really sure how all of this was going to shake out because it's very unlike me to uh, go in to a piece with a preconceived idea but we're going to make it happen so I am going to use Prismacolor um, pencils here just to color a little bit <clears throat> and one of the quotes that I wanted to read to you guys is, We all should know that diversity makes for a rich tapestry, and we must understand that all the threads of the tapestry are equal in value no matter what their color. And that is by uh, Maya Angelou. And really, that was kind of the piece that really drove me to create this piece of art. And specifically the part that talks about a rich tapestry and the threads of the tapestry that are equal in value. So you'll see as we go into this project how I'm going to incorporate that. But I'm literally just coloring this eye in with several different values. So if you look in your, um, if you look at your eyes in the mirror, you're going to know Notice that they have lots of different like really fine strands. I have brown eyes so um, my eyes have all different colors of golds and dark and deep uh, deep deep colors. So I'm just kind of playing that up with different little colors here and I'm using Prismacolor pencil. I'm also using um, Derwent ink tints as well. And I see that I have a little shaking going on with my camera, so y'all just shake your tail feathers as I go along here. And one of the things that really uh, struck a chord with me is when you look and you um, view other people's cultures and histories and um, all of their life experiences that they bring to the table is different than your own. So I think it's so, so important, specifically in the art community, that we all kind of join hands and lift up those who may don't look like I, I do. Maybe they don't sound like I do, which is 90% of everybody. But maybe there's some differences um, in their life that they can bring to the culture and the art that we have. So that is the goal here is to really just amplify and bring those that voices and people that have not been seen or as visible um, in the world or in the art community rather um, bring them to light and lift them up. So I hope that you will go check out all of the other people who are also participating in 
and um and i'll make sure that we link the um hashtag so you can go check out all the other artists because there are so many amazing people so you notice that i did bring out my watercolors now if you're like hold up sister girl you don't know what you're doing with those watercolors well honey you are so right because i just slapped that paint down and i am not a watercolorist by any means however i did want to tint and add some um tones to the eyelid and i'm really just kind of like oh holy moly tiff you wanted this to be so great you over thought the whole process and now uh mm, it don't look so good well that's okay because i am a firm believer you have to work past the ugly so that's what we're gonna do now you will notice that i did cut this out of cardstock and one of the reasons that i did not paint this directly into my art journal because a lot of my work goes into my art journal as like a springboard so one of the reasons i did not go directly into the journal today is because of that quote and it talked about the tapestry and the threads so I wanted to utilize I am a huge fan of texture and so I wanted to use um, my sewing machine to create that tapestry and threads that kind of weave us together and I do randomly burst out and dance just fyi if you see my hands moving my body is off so probably shaking a little tail feather out there too so i am gonna take shimmy's beautiful artwork that i actually sized down and i'm going to put that directly into that pupil there then i'm gonna take the lyra graphite and i'm just gonna kind of mold it and make it look like they're actually a reflection in the eye the the kind of the premise and in, in the thought process is that we should see everyone and appreciate everyone's unique um, value that they bring to um, the art community and to just life in general. It would be really, really boring if um, we all had the same life experiences and we did not have that diversity. So I am adding just a little bit and I don't even know what that little tear duct part is called, but I wanted to add a little bit of light pink there. And then I'm whipping out my soul food journal. Um, this is actually a workshop and then I'm getting some of these luscious amazing um papers out that shimmy gave me to print i love these shimmy they're awesome and so girl these are my colors right so i went ahead and printed some of those and now i'm kind of tinkering with the idea of how i want to glue this eyeball that has the threads i don't know if you can really see the threads good on camera but it has threads i went probably back and forth on the eyelids and the bottom eyelid the top one i probably did like four or five times and the bottom one maybe like one maybe two or three and so this i'm so smart don't you have those moments in life where you're like hot dog i did a really good job of thinking of that so i actually by mistake printed this out on sticker paper but it's brilliant because guess what now all i have to do is just tear it apart and it already has the sticky stuff on the back so um another thing to tell you is if you don't know shimmy also has an etsy store that has these digital downloads so you can go and grab some of these downloads for yourself and if you want to be super smart like me and download that on sticker paper well you just go right ahead and do that it's fine now i'm gonna take my white gesso and a palette knife and I think that this little trick here just brings it all together especially when you have areas that are white and then you have areas that are that color I wanted to go ahead and um, bring them all together and just kind of scrape that palette knife across so take a deep breath Timmy I get on a rampage guys and I just get so excited about projects like this I just get talking talk, 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 talk. so now I'm gonna do my small paintbrush and I'm gonna go around and I get a little wild loosey-goosey okay with the uh, paints earlier so I'm just gonna make it where um just you know bring it all together make the um 
the white of the eye white and then I'm also going to put a little catch light and a little bit of like glisten because if you look in your eyes real close you have these little flickers of light right so <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to take and um that little bitty paintbrush I'm gonna just dab and dip and kind of swirl and put some line work all around it and hopefully bring out those beautiful eyes that I worked on earlier. And there you can see the threads. And so those threads there is what I was kind of going for with this um, quote um, from uh, Maya Angelou. And so I really like how it all came together in the long run. But just like everybody else, there's moments where I'm like, mm, <laughs> I just don't know if this is going to work. But I assure you keep working through the ugly and you will come out with something amazing. And not only that, um, just something to kind of um, be the voice. Um, often as artists, I know I can paint something rather than say it. So, um, you know, that's important, especially when you're working through um, things. It's a lot easier for me to get in my art journal and art it out opposed to write it out or talk it out. So now I have my eyeball and I'm pretty satisfied with it and we're going to dry that journal off a little bit and this sprayer it it hasn't been washed and I couldn't tell you how long I just think you know a lot of time is precious why do you want to to mess up your brayer by cleaning it so it has lots and lots of textures on there and I just use it to my advantage and I took a little lyra graphite and I'm just kind of grunging it up and I felt like it needed to pull some of those colors from the eye pull that into the background a little bit. So I am taking that light turquoise color there and I'm also going to take that green and I'm just very lightly just kind of scraping and moving that paint around so that I can create um, a little interest. Alright, so apparently I'm excited about that because I'm giving you a thumbs up and joking and jiving over here. So now, oh, I really like it. I really like it. I'm coming to that moment. You saw my hands go and I was like, yeah. And then we had that eyeball that did not work out in the beginning. And so I'm going to take my Uhu glue stick. This uh, brand, you can use any brand of course, but the Uhu glue stick really works good for me because I live in the south and it's super humid. And the previous glue sticks I tried just all ended up lifting up after a little while so you do want to uh, pay attention since we did cut this and then put this into the journal that um, you get all those luscious threads that we worked on and make sure that those are lifted up and don't get glued down behind it so I'm taking my Stabilo uh, Marksaw pencil and going all around the eye so that I can actually create a little bit of a shadow um, so it, it has something to kind of go on instead of just looking like it's just stuck down to the page. And so I'm just taking that all around and kind of using my finger to kind of blend it out if I feel like that's necessary. I love those girls in the eye. Oh. I can just see them. They just make me happy. And so now I'm going to go all around um, the iris of the eye with um, the that food ball pen that we worked on in the beginning. And now the food ball pen is actually permanent after it dries, but you do have a little wiggle and jiggle room there in the beginning, as you saw, where I actually was able to use... Um, use it to with water it will actually move so now since shimmy was brave enough to use her handwriting i thought well i'll be doggone i guess i'll go ahead and do mine too so i used the same uh same thing that she did and put uh let's stand together and i actually drew mine or wrote mine rather onto um, masking tape and again if you're new to tiffany then masking tape is kind of 
of my thing and I just love it and I know that sounds very strange and weird but I do and so now I'm taking a blending stop and I'm kind of pulling the edges around there because I like a little extra grunge and I am so thankful to be hanging out with you guys um go check out my channel so you can see what shimmy did over there and I hope you have an amazing and beautiful day continue to pass the paintbrush and check out all the other beautiful shades of ladies that are creating out there here's some still shots for you and until next time to live